Today I'm joined by Exodor and Wilhelm as we take a look at the improvements coming to Dome. Now, Dome has had a colourful history. It was the sixth objective stopwatch map to be added to the game, and we've made a few updates to it in the past, but now we're really giving it some love. So, why are we making these improvements to Dome? The short version of the history with Dome is that it was started before the game was even in open beta. After we got into open beta, the, the game kind of changed a bit, and really it was just way too big. We wanted to focus more on 5v5 and ranked and 6v6, and it plays quite well as an 8v8 map because it's fairly massive, but the game is sort of trending away from that. So we wanted to condense it really um, and keep a lot of the good things about it, focus the action and give people, you know, clearer ways to go and have it not be as confusing. There was also an issue on Objective 1 where people would kind of do a ninja delivery. They would run down one of the routes the other team wasn't really defending very well and they would just win the first objective straight away, which obviously isn't the design and not what we want. So we're working on improving that and fixing that issue. So what are we updating specifically with Dome? Is it the layout? Is it the objectives? Lighting? Art? So we're updating layout. Attacker spawn for objective one is being moved, so there's better flow there, so that layout changes there. We're doing a lighting change to the map. There's now clouds that move across the world and sort of like cast shadows on it and things like that, which looks really cool. And then obviously with any layout changes come art changes. We're not changing any of the sort of objective logic. It's just the layout around the objectives that's been changed. Are we going to be blocking routes off specifically just to improve the map? Or are we going to be also creating new paths for players to take? On the first objective, we removed the right flank. We widened the left route a little bit. And alongside that, we added some extra flanking routes to sort of complete that area and make it effectively work for the whole gameplay space. Um, that brings the combat away from either flank, which it used to be on, where you could get these ninja deliveries and now it occurs in the arena and around the secondary objective. On objective two, we widened the rooftop area and made it more exposed. It was basically the most powerful position previously, and we've made some changes to help reduce its strength and force people to sort of move around and take up other positions. And then on the third objective, we removed quite a few of the attackers' routes to basically improve the flow and keep the team together when they get to the objective rather than splitting them off down five different routes. It was a bit confusing for new players and a lot of the routes were pretty redundant. Were there any problems that you had to overcome when working on Dome? Uh, yeah, the first one was just figuring out what we need to do to make it work because we knew we needed to make changes but we didn't want to make completely radical changes and it was figuring out that sweet spot in the middle. The map definitely shrunk in size. Uh, it used to be the biggest map in the game. Now I think it's probably closer to the other maps. It may still feel quite large in areas, but we're doing what we can to shrink it down. I think players are going to be pleasantly surprised. It's definitely got better flow, better pacing. Combat happens in spots you would kind of want it to happen in. And there's no players being shot in the back and players won't be getting lost. I think overall people are going to be really happy with it. I hope it'll strike a good balance between the people who liked certain aspects of the map uh, and people who found it daunting and a bit confusing and overwhelming with some of the routes you could take. There's still a lot of freedom of movement, it's got some good space. So I think the soul of the map hasn't changed and hopefully it's a bit more accessible for people.